Dr. Owusu or Chalk. It's Dr. O for the 804. As the premier knee and hip shoulder sports surgeon, Virginia, I would like to remind you that health equals power. Sports build and uplift communities. Nothing else can. The mission of sports medicine is to keep athletes of all ages and levels at the top of their game. Dr. O is located at Ortho, Virginia, Schrader Road, office location. Appointments can be scheduled online at orthovirginia.com or by calling 804-939-6688. You can follow Dr. O on Instagram at Dr. O underscore for the 804 and uplifting educational content about sports health. Hi, everyone. I'm Coach Rick Stockel. I am co-owner of Newman and Dunn Real Estate here in Central Virginia, as well as I am a high school boys basketball coach at Monacan High School. I've sold over 1,300 homes here in Central Virginia, and I would love to work with you and your family in your home buying needs. Uh, I am a proud primary sponsor of Ballin in Virginia, and I hope you enjoy this show. Welcome to another episode of All in VA. Today, we got the girls of the summer. I got the 804's best here, and we're going to talk to them about their respective summers and how they're doing on these AAU brand circuits with Adidas, Nike, Under Armour, wherever they're playing at. And we just want to know exactly what they do. We're going to start with the person to my right over there, top 75 with the slam shirt on. Tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Nyla Wilson, and I play for Boo Williams UIBO. Next. I'm Allie Broaddus, and I play for Boo Williams UIBO. Next. I'm Savannah Dawson, and I play for LV Elite 3SSB. Okay, next. My name is Tawani Harris, and I play for Boo Williams EYBF. Okay. Hi, my name is London Ferguson. I play for Team Takeover 15U EYBL. Okay. Hi, my name is Sydney Worsham. I play for Team Loaded 3SSB. Hi, my name is Sierra Haran. I play for Lady Push 3SSB. Thank you. So today we're going to start with this young lady over here. Mm -hmm because um, I give her a hard time. And um, yeah, I do give her a hard time, but she has worked so hard as all of them have. But um, some people may know, some may not, people may not know, she just cracked the top 100, top 75, and we want to give her her due. And um, Nala, how's the summer been going so far for you? Oh, uh, the summer has been going pretty well. Looking forward to our next tournament. Yeah live period in Chicago and it's been going good great comp and really just very competitive well the last time I saw you on the circuit was you playing against number one Aaliyah Chavez she's number one in your class and I'm gonna just go in and just set it in and you destroyed that girl that day and um you picked up a couple of offers big time offers um how you felt about that game um did you just, what, what was your mindset actually going to that game? Uh, really just dominate, knowing that she's the number one player in my class, really just going and dominate it. And I feel like we could have came out on top, but I think we lost about 13, 10 maybe, but I feel like the, the game could have went differently. Yeah, I mean, the first half, man, it was something. And like I said, you know, you was just, just going at it. And like I said, the second half, it was, it was a little different story, but... Throughout the game, you was consistent, and like I said, you know, I just want to just give major props to you because you gave it out, you gave it all that day, and you were just straight up hooping. So, you know, I just want to just say salute to you, keep it going. So, what are your expectations for Chicago, Kentucky? I'm trying to win it all. You trying to win it all? You trying to pick up any more offers? Yeah, I'm trying to pick up major D1 offers and be committed by, let's say. After, not right after the live period, but a couple months afterwards. Okay. Now, so I don't know if we can say the respective names of the school, so I won't go into that. So just leave it at that. But um, I just lost my train of thought. But anyway, but all I can just tell you, just go out there, just keep hooping, and just just try to bring it home for us. That's all we ask. Allie, I'm going to go to you. So where has your summer been, Allie? Um, it's been pretty good. I feel like I've talked to a lot of great coaches already. Mm -hmm. And just had a lot of great conversations, being able to um, talk to people at like, that level, at the college level. It's just been really eye-opening. It's been a really overall great experience. Now, I know you're playing for Coach Webb on the 16U with Boo. How's that experience been going with Coach Webb? 
it's been really great. The whole coaching staff, Coach Webb, Ed, um, Coach Bell, and CJ, they all been really good. Um, just, you know, telling us what not only what we want to hear, but what we need to hear and pushing us every game to in every practice to just do our best, play, play be the best player we could be. Now, I don't watch y'all play a couple of games, man. You, you was out there hooping, especially in the first live period at Boo Williams. I was there watching a couple of games. You out there getting those big rebounds. And um, then your guys go out to Arizona and y'all went undefeated. How was the Arizona experience in session two? Um, definitely. I think we did. I think just overall, it was like the Boo program. We went 15 0. So I think we all played. We were very competitive. Um, we were going, we went there to win. And that's what we did. We got it done. How's the competition been? Like, have you faced anybody that, you know, that was maybe a real tough challenge for you out there, you know, trying to get those rebounds and scoring and everything like that? Uh, was anybody that you faced that you were maybe looking forward to or you just went out there and just said, hey, I'm just going to just give it what I got? Yeah, it's kind of just I put my all out there every single time I step onto the court. I don't really care who we're playing, just play my game. Um, there's definitely been some people that are, like, really big, Loki. Mm-hmm. And, so, <laughs> and so it's been pretty hard. But, I mean, that's what we practice for. How many offers have you picked up since since the start of the spring and in the summer? Um, I think three, okay. four maybe. Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, like I said, keep it up. I'll be in Chicago, so I'll be looking forward to seeing you. And like I said, I'll just keep my eye on you. And just go out there. That's like I said, the same thing I told now. Bring it on home. So go out there, compete, and just do what you do. Thank you. Savannah. Yeah. What's going on? Not much. You just came back from a visit. Yeah. Now, you don't have to see the respective schools. How was your visit? Oh, it was great. It, they had a great coaching staff, and they are very nice. That's pretty much it. Now, you made a change. You went from um, the Blue Webs team to Elevate Elite. How's Elevate Elite been going for you so far? Um, It's great. It's definitely been making me get better. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been good. Okay. So far as, uh, far as the competition wise, you seen anybody out there that, you know, that maybe was a challenge for you that you was looking forward to competing against, or I should ask you, let me ask you this question. How was it the competition? Because we hear the, 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 the different brand circuits is this, 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 mm-hmm. this, how would you say since you've been on the Adidas circuit compared to the Nike circuit? Um, I mean, in my opinion, I feel like it's more comp in the Adidas circuit. Mm-hmm. Um, it was very unexpected because, like, when I first when I first came, I did not expect it to be that way. Okay. Like, I honestly thought it would be a little bit easier, mm-hmm. but it wasn't at all. It was more competition, in my opinion. Okay. So, if, how many offers have you picked up so far this summer and um, spring? Um, I don't know the exact amount, but it's a good enough amount to know that I'm doing something right. Oh yeah, we 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 watching. Yeah. We all here watching. But like I said to you, keep it up. You know. Like I said, go out there, kill it, bring it on home. We just want that 804 representation. I, I need to brag. I need to have something to talk about. Now, I know, my, I know, and I'm saying this, I know y'all playing, you know, the Virginia team, but you're an 804 product, so we want you to bring it home. We're going to salute you either way. I got you. So, Moni. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> South Carolina camp, how was it? Um, It was a fun experience. Uh, a lot of competition. And it was great to see the team from South Carolina and the coaching staff. Now, I know you and Ali, our teammates, I've checked y'all out a couple of times. You know, you're playing with Coach Webb, Coach Ed. How is it uh, first time y'all playing EYBL and then playing for Blue Wind? Um, EYBL is pretty fun. I like the competition, uh, very competitive players. And like being with Blue Wimps, it was a very – it was just big because I always wanted to play with like for him and stuff. So mm-hmm. now going out there to this this circuit, um, y'all y'all tripping, <laughs> but but um, you've been it's it's always been talked about. Everybody's been waiting for you. Everybody been talking about the hype, talking about Samani, you know, you top five in the state and everything like that. Um, you had any? Any issues as far as like competition? Anybody just been like challenge you? They know who you are. They was like, "Hey, I'm just gonna come at you" or anything like that. Yeah, that happened plenty of times, and I just ignore the fact that they do that. It's natural <laughs> to me now. Now I know all y'all been playing with each other for a long time. 
and stuff like that. Did y'all expect to see yourself at this, you know, see these your, your your peers with you at this moment right now in the ninth grade? Um, I expected it, mm -hmm. but not this soon, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand that. So you picked up a couple of offers. How many offers that you picked up so far? One. Okay. And you have any visits planned for the rest of the summer? Um, I have a few, but I just got to make a schedule, you know, change because AAU is all over the place. Mm -hmm. well, it's okay. Well, look, just keep it up. Like I told Allie, I'll bring that thing on home. Make sure y'all represent for the 804 and your parents and just do your thing out there. It will. London. Bun Bun. What's up? What's good? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you had an interest in summer? In spring. Now you picked up your first offer. How did you feel about that? Uh, I actually felt really proud of myself. Like with well, all the politics in a row, I actually felt like yeah, it was a big accomplishment for me. Now you've been working hard behind. I've been seeing and just been hearing a lot of things from you. Um, I talked to a coach and one big time player that's from this area, who's a female, and. Uh, that DMV uh, live up there, you was doing your thing. And I heard one game that they wouldn't have won it without you. <laughs> I'll put you on the spot. So tell us how that DMV live was for you. Um, the DMV live experience was something that I, I probably never experienced before, like from the city, because it's not that type of competition down here. Mm -hmm. Just being real, like going up, like up there near Maryland and Alexandria, Virginia, it's nothing like Richmond. It's the competition is way higher up there. So Yeah, I've been I've been hearing that. So like I said, it's you heard you just came right in, you fit right in. And um you think that's somewhere that you guess where you gonna be at? I'll put you on spot. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> now how is it playing with team takeover? Um, I've been, t been playing with Team Takeover since sixth grade, so being a part of that family is great. Now, have you seen anybody that, that maybe, that, like it's asked the other girls to challenge it? You seen anybody that that supposed to have this big name and all that stuff like that? Have you seen anybody that may have been issue that was a challenge for you? Mm -hmm. Nobody really meets their names yet, <laughs> but <laughs> like, I'm just being honest, but yeah. Um, the competition is really good on the EYBL level, but yeah. Do you have any? Well, you can't. She can't visit schools right now. Think like that, so we gotta bypass that. So I'm gonna come back to that. But um, look, all I'm gonna tell you is go out there and represent. Where y'all headed? Um, as far as the nationals, y'all y'all start going to Kentucky and Chicago as well. Yes. Okay. When y'all plan on y'all leaving? When? Uh, we leave next Thursday for Kentucky. Okay. You ready? Am I? Are we gonna come back with some more? <laughs> yeah. All right. Sid. Hi. <laughs> you know I'm going to pick on you, right? Good to see you, Sid. Good to see you, too. So how's it been going? It's been going well. The season It's my last go-around. I've liked it so far. Yeah, this is it for you. You last of Mohicans. Yeah. <laughs> so what's been going on? Your coach been telling me some good things about you. been working hard behind the scenes. I see yes. your, your Instagram stories. You in the sand one day and... <laughs> You on the track the next, you yes. know. So, so how has it been? It's been really well. I've been training with my dad over there. We work out like every day. Well, Man, basically yeah. every day. We do different things like sand work, lifting, different stuff. And I usually have practice or some type of workout like three times a week. So. Oh yeah, I, I see you the dad. I know dad. Dad gonna have you in there working. <laughs> he, he he be on you too. You be yeah. boxing and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your summer been as far as you know? You playing on you playing with Team Loaded, right? Yes. How's it been on the 3SSB circuit? Uh, it's definitely been a lot more competition. I don't think I've ever played on, like, um, a team with this much, like, talent, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to, like, during practice, like, it's nice to go against other people who can actually play. And um, the tournaments, as far as the tournaments, I feel like it's a lot, like, a lot, a lot more competition. And I like how we travel. Like, we travel a lot of places. So I get to, like, see new things, go to new places, try new food, stuff like that. Oh, you really having fun. You mean yeah. it's, gonna, it's your last go-round, so you're <laughs> yeah. going all out. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You got any visits that's scheduled? Uh, uh, yeah, I have a couple of visits coming up in, like, 
the end of July and August, so I'm excited. I seen you picked up a few offers there. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I know you've been working hard. You you a terror on, on defense. Yeah. So you you be doing your thing. I I I say besides Nyla Wilson, I told anybody, and I think I was telling your mom last night, I said, if I gotta go pick, if I'm starting a team, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go defense first. <laughs> So if if I, if I got three guards that I'm going to pick, I got one, two, and three. <laughs> now, no offense to nobody else. What I'm saying, I see you, TT. I know what you do. I'm going to get to you next. But I'm just saying, I, I just know that you on that wing and you just athletic, you just be ready to set it off. So your, yeah. your offense, your defense is your best offense. So I always yeah. say that about you. So where are y'all headed for uh, three SSB circuit? Um, this weekend we're going to North Carolina for a tournament, and then we're going to South Carolina in a couple weeks too. So. So when are we gonna hear this decision or where you're going to school? Because oh. we all want to. <laughs> you all I'm waiting. Decide, do you plan on? Let me ask you this question: Do you plan on deciding before the season start, or you want to wait till? After? Um. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I might wait till after. I, I don't really know right now. Okay, well, right. I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. So we come back to that. Well, like I said, I want you to go out there, do your thing. And like I said, I hope that you go out there compete. There's anybody out there that you're looking to, to play against or anybody that you um, think that's an issue or challenge for you? No, not really. I'm just excited to play for real, for real. Okay. Well, bring it on home. <laughs> TT. Hi. What's up? What's going on? Nothing much. What's up? Look, you up next. All I keep hearing about is you. <laughs> Come on, TT. <laughs> so how's it been so far? Um, it's been all right. How's it been out there? You play on the 3SSB with Lady Push, right? Yeah. This your first year with them? Yes. How, how you like the organization so far and your coach? It's good. I really love the coaching staff. Coach Kim, my guy. I really love. <laughs> okay. So how's it been out there? You know, is it, you know, you seen anybody that you wanted to go up against? So I've seen some of your clips today, and um, you be out there doing your thing. You like Thank to get you. out there and run. Thank you. So are uh, you having, well, I can't ask you because you, you're a little younger, so I can't ask you about this basic thing. Well, I, I hear that you have a lot of interest. I know you was at the VCU camp. Mm -hmm. How was that? It was good. It wasn't really a lot of competition. Well, my teammates was my competition, but yeah, okay. it was good. It was good? Mm -hmm. What was that last week, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Now, I hear that you are a hell of an athlete. Now, I saw something today that you play softball. Yeah. Now, I ain't going to put you on the spot, but what you like more, basketball or softball? Basketball, of course. Okay. Softball, like my... Both of them I get away, but I, I like softball. Softball, like a... Peace, like peace. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just my getaway when, yeah, you know, I got too much. How long have you been playing softball? This is my first year. Really? Yeah. And you a pitcher? No, um, I do catcher and I'm, yeah, just catcher. Okay, I saw one game you was out there pitching or something. I was like, she out there doing the thing. So what are, you, what are your expectations? Where y'all headed as far as uh, Lady Push? Y'all going to South Carolina as well? Yeah, we go to um, we go to Riley this um weekend. Then we go to Kentucky, and then we go to um South Carolina. Okay, so what what are you looking forward to the most when you go out there? Um, just to play basketball, hoop, get some offers. Everybody want. And you will come back with some offers. Yeah, it's willing, hoping, God willing. Okay, well look, let's go out there. Like I said, do your thing, bring it back home for the eight oh four, and I look forward to seeing you to during the fall. Of course. Look, so now we're going to do this group thing, and I would say right now, I'm going to ask y'all a question. I'm going to put all of y'all on the spot. All seven of y'all, if I put all of y'all on one team, do you think anybody in the a, in a 804 can beat y'all? No. No. Defeated. No. Defeated. No <laughs> way. Y'all answer that quick. <laughs> so you telling me right now that ain't nobody around here that can beat y'all? No. no. Defeated. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because dogs, just so much talent. Talent. <laughs> you got us here for a reason. <laughs> Hello. Good point. Good point. Okay. Okay. Yo, y'all like that? Well, I'm gonna expand that thing out. Who could mess with y'all in the state? Yeah, let's let's do that. The state of Virginia. Southern, in Virginia, yeah. Nobody. Oh, nobody. nobody. Are y'all still going on to be? Yeah. yeah. Yes. We played yeah. everybody in Virginia. So. <laughs> All right. Let's just show. Okay. Who stopped? Who start? What's the starting five? Yeah. It's not five. It's seven. Oh. <laughs>
Who's not done? I'm starting. I'm starting. I'm starting. I'm starting. I'm starting. I'm starting. I play defense, so okay. yeah, I play defense. We sit. TT boss, so they play defense. I mean, I can play a little D too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs> I'm just saying, cause you know, I heard some people from Bell, some five. They don't put them Northern Virginia girls that they'll mop the floor with y'all. Well, I already mopped them. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Messy. Right. I heard it to a little birdie. Little birdie told me that. That bird line. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, no, but as a collective, as a group, um, all of y'all, I just I just want to say. Thank y'all for representing the 804. A lot of y'all played with Manny, uh, with his Black Top organization. And um, I can't say enough. I want to thank you, Manny, because we wouldn't have these girls as athletic, go hard. And I just want to say thank you for just doing what you've been doing. So with that being said, what do y'all think about Coach Manny? So crazy, crazy. Us off. but he definitely oh, bring the dog out of here. Anybody, this is group, this is group thing. We ain't, we ain't gonna go to that. Anybody can answer. Phenomenal coach and trainer. But we know you, Dad. <laughs> well, just saying, like since I was younger, he just he started us off for real. Yeah, he started all this. Just, dang, he gonna push you. He definitely gonna push you. <laughs> oh, for real, he gonna push you. He made it. He made it happen for us, for real. He made y'all cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to know. Yeah, but it's like keep pushing us because he want us to get to the next. Yeah. God, Lee. Get next it out. level. <laughs> next level. Yeah. What were some of the places that y'all went through when y'all was playing younger? Did y'all see y'all suffer to this point today? Like where y'all at now? Did y'all think that y'all was going to be on these big time shoe circuits when y'all was younger playing? It was already got written. Y'all was all <laughs> <laughs> he been saying it since we was in the second grade. Second grade, maybe third. Yeah, since yeah. the second grade, maybe. Now I'm gonna put y'all on the spot again. Who the best player in this group right now? Most definitely. Everybody supposed to say that. Everybody. Oh, uh, 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 no, uh, 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 u
Mm-hmm. Um, I think she has this type of poise to her game, and I feel like it's like undoubtable that she's obviously a great player. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like she's a great player, definitely a knockdown shooter, and she has high IQ. And looking forward to seeing her play with Tar Heels. I got one more person. <clears throat> What y'all think about, and, and, I, and I'm using the person, people that's already gone. What y'all think about Big Mia? <laughs> <laughs> a dog. Mia's a dog. Yeah, she's a dog. Yeah, that's, yeah. She, was she a beast? <laughs> what, what, what you ready to say, bud? Uh, what they say? <laughs> <laughs> Mia, yeah, I like playing against her. She's very competitive, and she brings, like, a, a lot of high energy to her team. Like, when you just play against her, she was – Having that energy on her, yelling at everybody's face. Very, Mia's very confident too. Very yeah, confident. Mia's a dog. I'm scared of Mia though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm scared of Mia. Mia, if you're saying that, I'm just letting you know I'm scared of Mia. <laughs> I, you know, that's 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 her presence, man. She just, I, I love her energy, what she brings. She just get her teams going, stuff like that. I'm gonna miss her not seeing her around here, but. My next thing I want to ask y'all about, have y'all been watching the WNBA? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm going I'm to do a round two. I guess, who want to go first? Instead of me just picking somebody. Who is your favorite player and why? Who want to go first? Maya Moore. She play like, I play a little bit like her. See, me and you on the same page. See, <laughs> I, right there, the conversation going to stop right there. Ain't right, nobody better than Maya Moore. But who, who, who won't go? Who, won't, who next? Who you like? Diana Taurasi. Hey, my shirt, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't. 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 Drop the pen. Drop my pen. Thank you. Who next? Um, I'm going to say John Quill Jones. I like yeah. your game, too. I, I see that in you. Oh, yeah. Chelsea Gray, too. Chelsea Gray's a dog. Yeah. What y'all think about Reese? Angel Reese? Anybody say Angel Reese? Well, she's just an upcoming player, but I do look up to her. Yeah. No, it can be anybody. Anybody, it don't have to be like the older players, but you know. yeah, but still want to see her process a little bit more. I mean, she's doing great right yeah, now. Yeah, she's making history already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Making history as a rookie, and that's very big. Do y'all think that Angel Reese and Kate LeClock is helping pave the way for young ladies like y'all stuff to give y'all opportunity? Yeah, yeah. 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 yes, yes. Yeah. So, how about Asia Wilson? Yes, yes. definitely. Oh, yeah. I'm well, glad like she got a sponsor right behind right huh? I said that's like the GOAT of WNBA yeah. right now. Yeah. So that's all y'all go to have an opportunity to go there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. But the way y'all keep playing, I mean, y'all ain't far <laughs> from it now. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all next up. Yeah. What y'all think about Caitlin Clark? She's tough. Sniper. Yeah. She is a great shooter. Sniper. Sniper. She's different. Do y'all think that she deserves some of the criticism that she gets? No. 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 Nor injuries. Right. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you both of them. Why do y'all think, why do you think, yes, because y'all are competitors. Mm-hmm. Why do y'all think that they get so much scrutiny and hate? Because they're girls. Yeah. It's and, not normal to see girls yeah, yeah. that much of a bucket. Definitely. And Angel talk her stuff all the time. Yeah. So. Angel cocky, but that's good. Like, you could be cocky, you could be yourself on the court. And then most of the time she's playing up to it. She's mm-hmm. just yeah. out there having fun. Who do y'all out of that? Like, say for instance, like, do y'all have a problem with, like, angel outspokenness? No. Like, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes she'll just, I would just say, I'm a dog, whatever. So y'all have a problem with stuff. No. She says. no. I feel like that's part of her, like, that's just part of her. That's who yeah. she is. Personality. But this is not the, like, only year she's been like this. She's been like this since high school. Yeah, right. yeah for real. So y'all think, so what about Caitlyn? Do y'all think with, with Caitlyn? Like, do y'all think like she's getting? I cannot say it without trying to be politically correct or trying to be too harsh. Do y'all think she's being pampered? Because no, her <laughs> work show. No, no, I mean, no, she is being pampered. She's still doing what she got to do. Yeah. At the end of the day, she, yeah. So I feel like the fans gonna make that. They gonna pave it that way. Her fans gonna pave it that way. Like they gonna pamper her, of course, because yeah. those are like fans but i don't think she's being pampered you can I she deserved it yeah yeah she, yeah, she worked it. hard through high school and college yeah if y'all i'm gonna ask y'all a uh, question if y'all had to pick one player and i'm gonna do a round table y'all because i'm gonna start with nyla that 
you could be, um, if you could choose to be for one day NBA player, who would it be and why? Kyrie. Yeah, it could be it could be WNBA NBA player. Kyrie, why? I mean, he just gets to wherever he wants to get to when he wants to get to it. Facts. Just yeah. Who go, want to go next? Allie? Um, Savannah. <clears throat> Oh, I was gonna say Kyrie too. Everybody oh. saying Kyrie, yeah, now because who wouldn't want to be Kyrie? Kyrie's a dog. <laughs> <Yo>. It's straight. <laughs> like, <laughs> we got a consistent. Don't nobody, no feet, nobody else. And I love Kyrie. It's the only reason why I like the Mavs. Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. How you gonna be a Mavs? You a Mavs fan? Yes, yeah. I've been a Cleveland fan. I've been a Brooklyn fan. I've been a <laughs> oh, okay, so you just go. Okay, so you going wherever he going? Yes. That's oh, okay. It. Well, at least you keeping it honest. Okay. So, so you just said you just go with Kyrie. Okay. See it. Um, I would say Kobe. Why you like Kobe? He's just I love his mentality. Even though I love like what like his history, I guess you could say, and, like mm. what he brought to like the WNBA or not WNBA, the NBA, and like just like the whole like basketball community. Like I really look up to him, and I have been since I was little. So that's good. That's good. Why do you TT? Why do you like Maya Moore so much? I mean, Maya Moore ain't even playing. But what made you gravitate towards Maya Moore? I grew up watch her, watching her play. So it was just like, I like how she play. I kind of play like her. Like, yeah. yeah, going inside. And you five foot seven. You going in there getting all the rebounds and blocking shots. I saw some of your clips today. So, but no. But um, if y'all get to the WNBA, if y'all happen to make it and – the pay scale, everything like that. Are y'all gonna take help take care of y'all plan your parents? Of course. Of course. Of course. What? We moving you know, moms out there. <laughs> what? <laughs> How much money they pay for no, AU? for real. Yeah. <laughs> Since second grade is I want y'all to know that this is recorded. Of course. That's fine. And if y'all don't hold yourself to this, I'm gonna find coming, a way. Yeah. We no coming back to this. I just want y'all to know that. Even if I, I don't make it, it. It's, like no it's going to be a way to <laughs> I just pay. Feel the like it's like, enough money in the world. You gotta, you gotta have a way. Yeah. 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 So. No, no way. So going back to the AAU circuit, what are y'all looking forward the most when y'all go back out there um, this weekend in the next couple of weeks? What are y'all looking forward the most? The competition. Yeah, good winning, competition. Winning, winning, winning offers. Winning everything. She said straight up, Alan. What you say, Alan? <laughs> so winning. You looking to win it, win yeah. the Nationals. Yeah. yeah. That's what's on my mind right now. Like, you got to win. Yeah. Doing what the team needs you to do to win. Yeah. That's why you're going to be on somebody's day at WGN. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. What y'all think? Um, Definitely to be seen more. I like coaches and stuff. Just, like I said, this is my last run. Just playing the best I can. Having fun. Winning. Do y'all think offers are overrated? Yes. Yeah. Um, no. So I do. Fair. Sometimes. Oops. I feel Oops. like... Oops. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I do too. So I feel like offers are definitely overrated. Like, you can just... You can be a nobody and say you got an offer. And just because you got an offer, like, you popping now. Like, yeah. So, that's my opinion on offers. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Opinion? It depends. I feel like it depends. I On feel like some people got offers, they actually deserve the offer, but other yeah. people yeah. just have it. Just have it. And then I feel like you can have as many offers. You get come into a D1 school and get there and you don't do anything. No. Yeah, you don't even get a chance to do anything. Yeah. That's why you got to work hard in high school. But that's another reason why I transfer. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do y'all think about the transfer portal? Um, I think I'm, it's a, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it's good, but you just got to have your hopes up that another team pick you up. Yeah. Because if they don't pick you up, you're done. Mm -hmm. Done. Yeah. Oh, I feel like it doesn't really give, like, a chance for, like, high school students to, like, be seen more. Because if mm -hmm. a school, like, is looking in the transfer portal, they don't need to look, like, at high school students. Yeah. Because they already have a college player who can already play. And they've seen them play at the college level. So, it's, like, no point in looking at the high schoolers. But, yeah, I agree with her. What would y'all like, what changes, if y'all could make any changes, what would changes would y'all like to see in college basketball for women? 
more recognition for them. Like, they're just now popping because um, Andrew Reese and Caitlin Clark and South Carolina and all that. But I just want, like, all the women basketball to have more right. recognition. Because I don't think we get the more recognition than the boys. Like, the boys get everything. We don't get nothing. And that's bad. I agree. I feel like, like, just because, oh, everybody can't dunk or no, everybody, real. like, it's just crazy. Like, we can dunk, but we just don't show it. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? What would you like to see change? Um, if you could make any changes, what would you like to add? Whether, you know, or what would you what would y'all like to see go away? Anything that you could add? Um, you want me to come back to you? Yeah. <laughs> TT? Um... I don't really know, just us to get the recognition that we deserve. Because if we're being honest, girls' basketball is way better than boys' basketball. On not any level. But college ball, high school ball, is way better. And that was going to take me to my next question. I'm glad that you say that. What What do y'all think about her response? Y'all think that the girls' game is better than the boys' game? Yes, yeah, I, I feel do. like it's a lot more fun. <laughs> it's yeah. more competitive, I think, mm-hmm. because some – Men, I mean, some boys, men like to hoop nonchalant. Like, it's like, I don't know, like the style of play is just yeah. not yeah, how girls like. Yeah. And some of it isn't, well, I'm not going to say it's not skilled, but I feel like girls is more skilled and fundamental than boys than just athleticism. No, I would agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. The boys, the boys will have more athleticism, mm-hmm. stuff like that, play above the rim, stuff like that. Also, of course, they're stronger, stuff like that, but you know, you know. But, um, who is started with Nalo? Do you have a favorite NBA team? WNBA team, WNBA, uh, NBA team? Mavs. Pro team. Really? Yeah, and the finals this year, the whole finals was rigged. When you become a Mavs fan? <clears throat> Curry. Okay, so y'all just follow we your favorite race. player. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's, so it's the consensus up here that y'all just follow y'all favorite player. That part. My it's favorite player. That's how it should be. I don't got no favorite player. Okay. Yeah, I don't got no favorite player. Should, well, I guess y'all different. Y'all, y'all different. different. Y'all different. What'd you say? I said, I don't got no favorite team. Not no more. My team, well, I'm sticking with my team, but we had a crazy downfall. Yeah. Just with the team. Warriors. I knew it. Yeah. All right. They did, yeah. Haha, we got Clay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, this is crazy how the math because <laughs> the maps, oh uh, y'all math. I guess it is because y'all math fans because of Kyrie. Y'all just like yeah, that. yeah. Basically, <laughs> I don't know if I can do this, but I guess I ask it anyway. And if I, if I get in trouble for it, we'll just delete it. Who's your favorite college team? South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. I should have known. South that. Carolina. No, but I not just, a, not just you. Yeah, not just yeah. the team that won this year. The twenty two. 2022 team mm-hmm. with Zod Cook, uh, mm-hmm. Destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then yeah. I think we wanted to go see it that game. We did yeah. see it when they played Tar Heels. Yeah. I feel like Dawn just breed her her uh, team differently. They just yeah. on on everything. What do y'all think Coach Daly is doing for the women's game as well? She's changing. She's five. doing a lot. Changing it. She been changing it, but it's just it's you know, starting to get yeah, her recognition now. is on. Yeah. 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 But she's getting the recognition. <laughs> Would y'all like to see her leave South Carolina and go to the No, no, no. First of all, first of all, they pay and she making enough money. Yeah, first of all, college basketball is way better than WNBA. In my opinion, she's the flyest coach. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. What else? But y'all see these coaches and stuff like they so y'all get excited. Do that? Do that want to make y'all play harder? Or I mean, you should play you, hard all this time. Yeah. yeah. You, like, when they watch your game, you should, like, act like they're doing You shouldn't try to show off. Yeah, don't show off. You show off. Like, you don't have to score 30 <laughs> points <laughs> to um get an offer. Like, defense, everything. So is it a natural habit when y'all on the floor? And I know y'all kind of, this is something that I want to personally know. When y'all on the floor and y'all seeing these coaches in the middle or maybe somewhere on the baseline, depending on where they're at, are uh, y'all constantly kind of maybe glancing and looking over there a little bit, or mm-hmm. he's kind of like, yeah, what goes I don't know. I be seeing the riding nose. I be like, no. <laughs> 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 no, because I I be I be over there looking too, and I be like, you know, so when they writing something, do y'all think, okay, are they writing about me or like this? Say, if you miss a shot, 
Are y'all looking over there? Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. I don't overthink. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to get distracted by that stuff. Yeah. You're not supposed to I miss food. a shot. What y'all human? So I just, just kind of, I'm kind of, you know, just kind of kind of picking y'all brain to kind of see what y'all like with it. So, but um, but I knew what you was doing with that, that one game that you played against Chavez. You, I don't think you were looking on the side. You were just, just shooting everything up that was going over there, was going in that game. But you you actually was looking over there at the coach? No, I was locked in. Okay, oh, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, because you, you, you was all over the court that day. You, you was, <laughs> I gave it that, you know. I'm picking on you because that was the game that stood out to me, you know. But, um, but yeah, so outside of that, um, I know what I want to ask y'all. <laughs> y'all parents. <laughs> y'all ready? <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what impact did y'all parents have on y'all as far as like, do y'all, do y'all, do y'all get fussed at a lot when y'all don't like, no, I can do that. Yes. Do I? I'll put the parent. Huh? Very do I? <laughs> Go ahead, tell it, TT. Since you <laughs> yes. tell it. You, you ain't going to trouble, is you? Uh-uh. No. It's the truth. After every game, after every training. <laughs> what your mama be Do you really want to do this? <laughs> yeah. No, let's, go, let's do this. No, go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to start with you. We're going to do a round table on this. I'm putting the parents on, on blast. It'll be a lot. I can't remember half the stuff he said. There's no, so much. I know, man. <laughs> going in. Yes. <laughs> Come yeah, on, TT. So, no, you didn't already put it out there now because I thought you was quiet. <laughs> Obviously, you far from that. Go ahead, TT. She just, she just, well, she really motivated me for for just to keep going. But like, if I have like a bad game or some shit, I I hear it. <laughs> I'm really playing all this money to come see you play. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> it's stuff like that. But it's, 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 it's cool, though, because I, I feel her. She is paying a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Um, oh, you, know I'm coming to, you know I'm coming to you. For me, it's... Who get on you the most? Your mom my, or your dad? No, my dad. My mom, she she says stuff, but she don't really know basketball. So it's like... like you guys don't pay her no matter. Yeah. But, like, my dad, he definitely gets on me, like, a lot. But, like, I like it, but I also hate it because, like, it, like, it motivates me to do better. But then it's, like, like I don't want to just be playing just to impress him or, like, just to, like, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, make yeah. him feel good. Like, I want to play for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes he, like, takes that away from me a little bit. But, like, I like it because it's, like, constructive criticism. He wants me to do, my, like, the best I can do. He do it all the love. Yeah. He definitely does. But, like, it's definitely, it definitely motivates me. But, like... It hurts sometimes. You be looking over there at him, be like, uh -oh, you know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, especially during like, games and like I mess up, he'll just look at me and like give me a desk stare and I'm like, uh oh, I'm gonna hear that in the car. <laughs> but like I like it, like it helps a lot. You know I'm coming to you, but um, the most I get is from my dad. He always got something to say, <laughs> but like I get where he's coming from because he. Still, he wants me to do better. But from my mom, it's more like you had a great game, but you need to work on this type of thing. Like, deal. Yeah. So they kind of even. Yeah, like it it balance each other though. Okay, but who the worst? My dad. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tamani. I shouldn't even have to ask this question. Bad. I'm pretty, I'm, <laughs> I can relax. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't even see your mama say anything. Your mama just be killing. Mm. No, yeah, I could be wrong, but tell from putting you in a spot. But I'm just saying. We we know it's gonna be Manny, so I guess let's just go and get over with. <laughs> um, yeah, my dad says things to me, but it's not hurtful. Like I might be in my feelings a little bit, but he's just really trying to motivate me and help me out and tell me what I need to focus on and what I need to do. Like if he yell at me the game, of course I'm gonna get mad, but it really turned me up a little bit. But with my mom, like she'll talk to me after the games and tell like she'll tell me that I had a good game, but I need to follow through and, you know, just work on my passes and stuff. She's just little small things for her and the big things for my dad. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you sure you ain't anything you want to add? No. I'm, I'm just picking one. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah, who tell for mom or dad or oh, your brother? My, <laughs> <laughs> my dad, of course. Oh, you want to tell you why? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, my dad is like he's different. Like he like shows his disappointment through silence. Mm-hmm. So like he not gonna say nothing. Like we gonna get in the car. If I had a bad game, we gonna get in the car. We gonna sit there, be quiet for a smooth. 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> then he, then I'm going to get hit with that. Is this really what you want to do? Is this, what you, is this really what you want to do with your life? Oh. <laughs> your dad yeah. hit you. He, he he had that look. Keith be in the crowd. Yeah. He, he just just focused. I, yeah. I see, he, don't, he don't say much. Keith don't say much. And he just got to, yeah. you know. But he definitely motivates me. Like, yeah, like, during the game stuff, I look up. He's going to be like, you okay? Like, you doing this, you doing that. Like, he definitely motivates me. And, like, yeah, I do it all for him, so. And myself, of course, but, you know. Ali. Bro, this. Who worse, mom, dad? I don't want to say anybody's, like, worse, but I probably get it more from my dad. Okay. Just because I feel like he knows basketball a little bit more. And he's definitely the type to, like, just keep it real. Like, he's not going to try and sugarcoat stuff. Um, but I know it's all out of, like, a place of love and just wants me to wants to see me, you know, do better. Now, for the outsiders, a lot of the outsiders think, you know, Oh man, they shouldn't be talking to you like that, the kids, stuff like that. But y'all don't, that stuff don't, as athletes, that stuff don't phase y'all. No. Yeah. Y'all understand it's coming from a place of love. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and want to see y'all do better and not as as malicious or anything like that. Right. I'm you know, just telling us what we need to hear. Yeah. Yeah. This is the truth. Sometimes you don't want to hear the truth, but you just got to do what you yeah. need to hear. I feel like if you don't hear it, then you'll be so big headed about yourself. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be big headed. That's the worst thing to do. And now I already know what it because your mama don't be saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so just go ahead and say, just go ahead and put your daddy on the spot. Oh, uh, it's definitely my dad more. I just feel like he gonna give you the raw nut cut every single time, no matter how many times he gotta say it. He's just anything bad, good, he gonna say something. But I feel like it helps you a lot. It gives you it gives you something to actually work for because you know he's all, he's always gonna have something to say. But it motivates you a lot. What would it be like if your parents wasn't on the sideline? Struggle. No, for real. Uh, So if y'all had to choose, would you want your parents at the games or would you rather not have them there? At At the the games. Sometimes I'd be like, I don't want them at the games and then... (laughs) <laughs> it just be changing. Yeah. You only want them, you don't want it to begin because at the time that you they telling you something you probably need to know, don't want to hear. Yeah. Okay. That's always with me. That's my biggest problem. Okay. okay. That was good. That was good. So going going forward to the fall to and I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I won't just say after the AAU season, do you think AAU season helps you get ready for school ball. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Definitely. Does it give you that sense of like when you're playing against this competition that maybe from different states, does it make you feel like that when you come back to your respective area that you're just that much better than the other parent plays uh other talent that's around here? And not saying that the other talent is bad. But it just makes you feel like if I dominate this person or if I get the best of this person, do it make me feel like when I come back, I'm I'm just that much better? Yeah. 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 Yes. Now, let's go with TT. Let's start. Go around the circle and tell us why you feel like that. Because it's like you playing people, you playing the top people from around the world. Mm-hmm. And when you get back to Richmond and start school ball, it's going to be like, oh, like, I'm getting where I want to get easily or I'm locking you down easily. Mm-hmm. Not even trying for real. And it's just like, mm. like circuit ball is way different than school ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's way different. It's way more, com- yeah, it's way more competition, and it's just you don't really got to too much think about the season as much as you think about AAU season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good answer. I feel like it just prepares us more, like better, and like um, it's definitely more competition. So when you get to like Rich- the Richmond games and like your school games. It's like less pressure, I guess, because you already you've already played against like good competition, so you know what you need to do and like how you're gonna do it. Like you're better prepared, and yeah. Um, I just feel like playing against like teams from the West Coast, like talent that you haven't like never ever played before. Like it's just like, dang, I played against them, so like I already know what to do to this competition here in mm-hmm. my hometown. So. I just feel like it motivates you more. It like, yeah. I just feel like yeah. Good response. To mom. Um 
so the talent with the EYBL, like playing against all them talented people and then going back home, like you can really defeat everybody at home. But when you go on the circuit, you just got to really work harder. And then you, all right, that's enough. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, my lash. It's okay. You might go viral, but it's okay. Oh. Savannah. Um, well, I agree with what, with I agree with what everybody else said. Um, yeah, it's just harder in an A. And you know, when you come back here, you feel like you ready to be LeBron. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready to drop 40. Like, geez, that's pretty much it. Um, I definitely feel like the like EYBL circuit is obviously a lot more challenging, a lot more competition. And it's showing, like, there's so many people with different styles of game there. And when you come back here and, like, play people that you pretty much grown up with, it's like, it's it's just a lot easier, and it prepares you a lot more. Um, when we're playing with like AAU, just you just are able to just work a lot harder. And so then when you come back here, it just seems a lot easier. Okay, now I feel like the circuit is the YBL circuit is um, a lot more challenging, and high school basketball is a definitely watered down. So when you get to high school basketball, you just challenge yourself to work on things that you have to get better at. And you just having fun with your team. Okay. Well, I'm, I got one more question before I go into the first fact, and I'm going to get y'all up out of here. Um, this one's going to be a good one, I think. Who started, I'm going to go back to you, Nala. Who was the toughest player that you ever played against and why? I'm going to give y'all something to think about. About AU or? AU High School. Okay. I don't know her name. Come back to you. I can go. Okay. Um, probably Mia. I was gonna say because Mia. That's a big. She's just like she's a beast, bro. Like <laughs> it was hard. What what made it so hard? What, like what did she do that was just like <laughs> just? Well, it was like her. First of all, her energy is like low key intimidating. Mm -hmm. And it was um like when she's like yelling and flexing your face, it just like makes you feel so much worse. <laughs> and it was like um going going up against her, especially like during states. It was just a big task, and I feel like she like rose to our expectations, and but overall like it still makes me a good player. Like iron sharpens iron, so. Well, she gone now, so now you know. <laughs> that, so now it's like you feel like that now. And not saying that like that if she was there, you couldn't do anything, but now you feel like just that experience playing against her now just makes you ready to play against anybody else. Yeah. All right, anybody else want to go next? I'm gonna get all y'all. Who want to go what's, next? Bro, what's the girl from uh? TTO that went to South Carolina. Maddie? Maddie McDaniel. Yes. I played her. I got fouled tough. out. She's tough. <laughs> she's, she's tough. tough. <laughs> what, what was tough about her when you had to play against her? I mean, she just can get to wherever she want to get to. Like, she's fast. She got it on the string, everything. She draws contact. So it's just really hard to guard her. I got someone. Okay. Uh, Joyce Edwards. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's she's a dog. Um, we played him at South Carolina at team camp. We lost him by one point, but then we beat him by like three. That. Yeah, <laughs> second time we got a little look back. What you say, man? No, I had to remember. I was like, I thought we beat them by like I forgot about the first time. Yeah, yeah. forget about it. We beat him by thirty. <laughs> I'll say, not gonna lie. I'll say as a team, it was y'all because like, no, but like growing up playing against y'all, it was fun. So like. I won't really trip him, but like, I ain't gonna lie, it was y'all. Y'all team is tough. That that game was hype. Yeah. What, yeah. what, what, what was, was your fun. expectations going to the game? <laughs> it was just, I'm playing against people I've been playing against. I'm playing with my whole life, basically. Yeah. Basically. But you were ready? Yeah. What was the, who was the game plan? What was the game plan? Who y'all had to stop? It's too like, you don't, you don't everybody. Give it out. <laughs> everybody. Who had to stop everybody? Go ahead, bud. Um, one of the hardest players I had to play against was Sabrina Anderson, I think that's her last mm -hmm. name. Yeah. Oh, I got another one too. But she is crazy. Like that's like her her, her switch, her switch that oh, that yeah. turn it on and off. Like she can shoot, she can get to the mid range. Like she's quick, she can get to the basket. That was one of the um one of the toughest players I had to guard to stop them as a team. Who she played for? Elevator League. Elevator League 16, I think. Mm -hmm. She yep. 26. Another girl. No, she's 27. 27. She's another girl, Sanai. Sanai. Sanai Green? Yeah, Sanai. Sanai Green. She's tough, yeah. 
Yeah. What was tough about Sana? She just she's just dominant. Like she she get to where she want to go. She can she got crazy ball handling. Mm. She she can get to the basket when she wants to. She can shoot the ball well. It's just hard to stop her for real, for real. Very hard to stop her. All around player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And her pace is crazy. Yeah. Like she's she'll go really fast at one point and then really slow. Like the pace is crazy. What you think, Sage? You got one? I don't, because I don't remember their names, so I don't even know, like... <laughs> but what was about that for that person that... Like, um, definitely, like, height. Um, this is... So is it AAU or high school? This is AAU. I forgot her name, but, yeah, I don't know. She was, she was like, super tall, super athletic. Um, yeah, the height really got us, because our team, we're not small, but, like, we don't have, like, a 6'3 player, and she was, she was tall. So, like, she had all of it, but... It was really hard, like getting into the hole and just finishing. Like she would just block all of it, and it was, it was hard. Mm -hmm. Who did everybody with Savannah? You didn't go, did? Um, I don't know the girl name, but it was a girl from Spooky Nuke. Okay. Yeah, she was just real shifty. She got to where she wanted. Um, I don't know. She had yeah, some. She hit everything, everything bro. Like <laughs> everything, like anything. Like she just. And it'll go in. <laughs> she had to had to she had to have a smooth ten threes. Like it was crazy. Was that this year? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I'm not even gonna say the name of the team because that's just embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll get y'all out on this. We want to know a fun fact. This is the fun fact time. What would be a thing? What is something about y'all that we don't know about? Could be anything. Who wanna go first? I go first. Okay, see it. So I have my own hair. Well, people probably do know this, but I have my own hair business. So no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm kind of an entrepreneur. I'll tell her now. I know you want to go to school, be a pharmacist. Yeah, I didn't know about this. Is, this is like a little side hustle, but I've been got. I've gotten a lot more like new clients, and it's like really growing. So I'm excited. Okay, how long you been doing hair? Oh, I like I've been doing people's hair for like a while, like a while. But like I started the business like at the start of summer. So, well, no, during the school year, but like, yeah. Well, y'all need to holler at Sid. Y'all want to get your hair done. Get, there y'all go. We do it on the fly. Mm -hmm. Who want to go next? I'll go next. Okay. I know how to cook some good Cajun shrimp pasta. Like, I just made that the other day. Like, it was so good. I applaud myself for that. But, yeah, I know how to cook. Oh, you know how to cook? Yeah. What, what, what's your favorite? That's, that's your favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I need to ask your brother. Hey, All Sage. Right. Never mind. Don't worry. I ain't gonna put you on the spot. <laughs> Who next? I'll go. I like going to new cities, and we don't even have to do anything. Just being in a new city, like just I oh, don't know. It just do something to you me. Like, like traveling. yeah, I like traveling. Like we don't even have to do anything. Just being in a new city just makes me feel happy. Like she's mm -hmm. getting out of VH. Just, yeah. Yeah, you too much like your mama. Yeah, you <laughs> definitely your mama's child. Me. Mm -hmm. go. So, Monty. Um, I have my own business. It's called Pretty Girls Hoop. Okay. No, sell it. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. The I sell, like, hoodies, customized hoodies and shorts and stuff for girls that's pretty and can hoop. Well, what can we find in that? You want to give out your, like, websites or anything like that? Or I have Instagram? an Instagram page. And tell everybody your Instagram. Everybody don't know you. Pretty Girls Hoop. Tell them how to spell it. <laughs> Pretty. Like, yeah, yeah, you really need to kind of, yeah. You wow. spell girls like girls. So you spell like the word pretty. P-G-H. Oops. It's like, stands for pretty girl soup. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, if you want somebody to go out there and buy your gear, you know, talk to the camera, let them know, because, you know, you talking kind of low, so I want to get Sorry. a gear. We want you to make some money. Who next? I'll go. Okay, go ahead, Alex. Um... I said, I would say my fun fact is, oh, I love driving. Love driving. Can't wait to get my license. Oh, you got your license yet? No. Hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Hey, look, so you, you want to get your own car, you're going to be driving your parents' car? No, I already have, we already have a car. Oh, you already got your car? Yeah. Oh. I got a Civic. Okay. 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 Wait, what? Yeah, I'm going to be on the streets. <laughs> I'm gonna be cruising. Well, she just said she's gonna be on that. You said she's gonna be on that. Wait, no, that's not what oh, I meant. Baby, that ain't I'm the way like, to go. No, I meant like cruising on the streets. So, so, so what we're saying is that we're gonna be seeing y'all, you know, you know, at the McDonald's or wherever y'all go, Chipotle or wherever y'all go between practices. Or oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Who next? T T and some um I said that Nala. Oh, uh, my fun fact is I love trying new foods. Okay. Yeah. You too, Vienna. <laughs> you, you got, do, you have a, do you have a particular favorite food that you really like more than than most? Seafood. Seafood. Yeah. Okay. Get that. Um, it's not really a fun fact. Well, it don't. No, everybody knows this. I really love to eat. Yeah, I eat Big a lot. Where it go? <laughs> Big bag. <laughs> but I really love to eat. Like, yeah. So you eat your mom out of house at home. Yep. <laughs> like, well, mama already said. What the, what the food bill like, mom? You gotta get Chipotle at least once a week. Chipotle expensive. Like twelve dollars. Ain't that much. Okay, balling. So okay, let me ask you a question. <laughs> who money, so so who money are you spending? Mm -hmm. Yours or your parents? Oh, I don't got money yet like that. But, so so you know. so it ain't that much, but you spending your parents' money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what you're doing. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So you can't use some of that pretty girl hoop money. I mean, yeah, I use my money sometimes when I want to or but I need you, to. But but you spend your parents' money. Yeah, I buy their food sometimes. Oh, feeling do? generous. But food money. Though. There's stuff. <laughs> 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 but do y'all at final, do y'all want to give out a shout out? We can roll out of here, but do y'all want to give out a shout out to anybody before y'all go? You know, anybody, teams, coaches, parents, cousins. I can't say the other word, but anybody? What's the other What's word? The other word? Shout out. Oh. I mean, we got y'all boyfriends or whatever. I don't know. Oh, no. I mean, what? <laughs> I can't, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Um, shout out to my dad in the corner. Shout out to that little boy right there. Shout out to that one right there. I can't see them. Um, that's what I said in the corner. Mm. All right. Shout out to my parents that deal with all my all stuff man. and foolishness. Shout out to the fam. All the family. I love y'all, man. I love you more. Yeah. Shout out to all the people that supported me through day one. Ah, oh, oh, I know that hurt. Yeah, yeah, that shit hurt. What? Mm. <laughs> Shout out to the parents, mom, dad. Shout out to y'all. I just want to thank my parents and my trainers for getting me where I'm at now. That's, that's, that's right. Get a train <laughs> shout out. That's right. There you go, bud. Shout out to my siblings. Thanks, you know, Manny. They got my nurse sometimes, but they shout are. Out to you. Manny Harris and MJ Wynn, my <laughs> trainer. Oh, Jay in the corner, if he's still over there. Coach Jay. He's not. He's not he he's not. Yeah, Coach Jay, my trainer, too. So, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Coach B, Coach Skinner, Coach P, Coach Manny. Yeah. Shout out to Coach Manny, Coach yeah. Luke. Good. Yeah, Coach Luke, too. Just everybody that be helping me. Shout out to everybody. Be helping everybody. Everybody. Yep. See it. You got a shout out. Mm. Shout out. Shout out to you. Thank you for having us today. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, I appreciate this. This this was fun. I I didn't know I could pull this off trying to get there. I want to thank y'all parents because y'all parents actually got y'all here. They worked all day. And they was able to drive y'all way out here to this far place and stuff like that. But I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for allowing the girls to come on. Um, I have a lot of respect for all of you and what y'all do. Um, I just want to see y'all just go out there and just be great. Um, a lot of times what I tell the, the, the athletes, whether you know it's male or female, but I go to a lot of the females' games, and I tell y'all, y'all never know who's watching. And just because people don't see y'all, you, you don't know who's in the stands. It's always somebody is there watching you. So you never know where your next blessing will come from, you know. So I would just tell y'all, when y'all go out there, just be great at what you do. You know, things may not come when you want it, but they'll ultimately come in time, you know. So as y'all go out here, I wish y'all nothing but health, you know. No, we don't want no injuries. Come back safe and be ready to uh, ball next winter and I would say next fall, next winter, because I'm ready to see y'all hoop, but I'm ready for basketball season, high school season, because I'm ready to see some people, some of y'all win some of these championships. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I say Thank GBG you. for G both. GBG? GBG. Uh, Get back. I say both. talking about to us. <laughs> no, me too. No, <laughs> for both of us, GBG. Yeah, facts. Mm, I, I'm lost. I don't know. That's Get back. Get back, gang. Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. All right. I ain't up on that. You know, but, 
Okay. Well, so, y'all ain't got nothing else to say? Y'all ain't got nothing y'all want to add? Good luck, everybody, at their next tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Good luck, y'all. I know. Let's get We're going to win, so. Y'all going to win? Yeah. Hello. Look, Allie, Allie already said she, <laughs> she trying to win. What, what y'all do? What, what y'all got to say? Oh, I know what I had to ask y'all. I know. I, I forgot. One more thing. Who the better circuit? EYBL. 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 Gear, everything. Bro. EYBL. I say okay, EYBL. Okay, y'all got it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Gear, I say EYBL for the yeah. Yeah. Gear, I love gear. <laughs> I feel like it's more comp on 3SSB. Me too. Yeah. The, the gear, y'all definitely got it. Yeah, y'all definitely got that one. Mm. Okay, we got the comp too. <laughs> y'all see Nike, Nike Times Adidas tournament? <laughs> mm. Coming soon. Ain't that Kentucky? <laughs> would they ever do that? That's Kentucky, ain't it? You do that. Nah, in Tennessee, you could play either. It don't really matter. Oh, really? It's like a camp. You could team or individual. Oh, yeah. Okay. You play whoever. Well, look, I just appreciate y'all coming out here. We're going to get out here on this. I would just like to say thank y'all for coming, and I hope to see y'all soon. Uh, some of y'all I will see in Chicago. Uh, Nike girls, I definitely see y'all there. And, you know, Y'all just bring that thing on home. Just bring it home. Same thing for y'all, 3SSB. Go out there, who bring that thing on back, you know, and be ready to, to play in y'all respective seasons. And some of y'all, uh, to Nala and to Sid, this is y'all last go round. <laughs> Make it count. Go on live. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. And hopefully we'll expect, expect decisions from y'all real soon. Come in, okay? Well, for me, Lee, this is signing out. I just want to like everybody to say, please subscribe, like, comment, share. This is how we keep the lights on, and we out. I appreciate y'all watching the episode again today, y'all. You know, go over and make sure that y'all check out my man, rickstocker.com, for any of your home buying needs. Appreciate it. Thanks again.